Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will cover some of the most important textual functions. Textual functions are used to perform operations on the text type of data. For example, if we need to remove any particular word from a group of words or if we need to extract first five or last five characters of any word, for such operations, we need to use textual functions. So let's get started with the first textual function. Here you can see we have student 1 pre-entered in the first column and you can notice that there are unwanted extra spaces in front of it. Similarly, the second and third student 1 values have extra spaces either in between or in the end of the text string. To correct this, either we can edit each one of these text strings or we can use a simple trim function. Trim function removes extra spaces from the text string. It will remove spaces from the beginning or at the end or even between two words also. Let's look at our example. In this cell, there are extra spaces in the front of string student1. Using trim, we will remove these extra spaces. Using trim function is very similar to using other mathematical formulas. First, to start the function, we have to type is equal to. Then we will mention the function name that is trim and after that we will mention the text string we want to correct and press enter. You can see extra spaces are removed. Now let's move on to the next example. You can see extra spaces between student and the numeric one. Again we will use trim function to remove these extra spaces. We will follow the same steps. And now you can see that there is only one space between the word student and numeric character 1. Trim function has removed the extra spaces which were present between these two words. Now for the third row, you can see that there are extra spaces at the end of the string. Again we use trim function. We can simply drag the function from above. And now the extra spaces at the end are removed. However, these cells contain formula instead of the required string. To get string, we know what we have to do. We use the copy and paste as values technique. These cells now have actual string values with no extra spaces. Now let's move on to the next function. Suppose I have two strings in two cells. Let's say first cell contains first name and second cell contains last name. Now how do we combine these two strings to create a full name? For such situations, we can use concatenate function to combine the two strings. Let's first try to combine English, Math and Science. As always, we will start our formula with equal to symbol. Then we write concatenate. You can see that in this cell, we have all the three strings joined together. First comes maths. Then without any space comes the next string, which is science. And then comes the third string, which is English. To further understand the use of this function, let us try to create a table 
where instead of just marks, we will write that student 1 has scored so many marks in this subject. To do this, we go to the cell and type concatenate. Select student1 cell, comma, write the script between double quotation marks, space has code, space. comma, select the marks from table 1, comma, now again enter the script in double quotation marks, space in, in maths. When I press enter, you can see that the, the complete sentence is created. Student 1 has scored 95 in maths. You can see in the formula bar, concatenate function is taking student 1 from this cell. Has scored is an input by us. Marks is coming from the upper table. And then there is another string which is an input from our side. Now to extend this for other students, you can simply double click on the bottom right corner and the entire column will be filled. You can see for student 5 also, the entire string is correct. Student 5 has code 45 in maths. Concatenation can also be done using ampersand symbol. Ampersand is the symbol that we see on the numeric key 7 on our keyboard and it looks like this. This is also the AND symbol that we use while writing text. So now in the English column we will apply the ampersand symbol to get this same result. To do this select student1 cell. type ampersand, enter the string within double quotation marks, has code, ampersand again, marks within double quotation marks in English. You can see that ampersand performs the same operation as concatenate function. In concatenation, it's like a normal function where you first mention the function and then give all the strings as parameters. In ampersand, it is like using plus symbol. You write the string, add an ampersand, you write another string, add an ampersand, write another string and so on. 